What's going on guys? Spencer here with HR Massage. Today I'm bringing you some professional Eishiatsu massage techniques. I got the honor of working with a local Eishiatsu massage therapist here in Spokane, and we filmed some really awesome footage. So I wanted to talk all about things you might not know about Eishiatsu, and of course show you some really effective techniques. Let's get into it. As the therapist literally steps up on the table, a shiatsu, A means without, shiatsu means hands. So it literally transfers to without hands. And A shiatsu is of course, massage with the feet. Now the therapist will use a bit of their hands occasionally, but the majority of the massage is done supporting themselves on bars and using straps, and then letting their full body weight sink into the client, allowing for some very deep, but also very broad pressure. Clients love this because the pressure is much more broad and it targets bigger muscles easily, as well as it can feel less sharp. And therapist, it's great for the therapist, especially smaller women, because it saves their joints and really utilizes their entire body. Here we can see the back strap and the bamboo bars that are normally above the table. And as we pan down, the therapist uses a lot of their heels, the entire sole of their feet, and she's very fluidly gliding along the hamstring muscles here. And this draping we see here is a pretty common style of draping for the Eishiatsu. They're gonna have at least the entire body side exposed, and that allows a very fluid motion of going all the way from the heels, up the side of the body, all the way up to the shoulders and neck. The therapist also incorporates a lot of stretching and range of motion work using their own legs, which I think is really impressive and looks pretty damn cool. And as the therapist glides up, we see her working up to the lats, the teres muscles, the infraspinatus a little bit, and just how fluidly she got from the lower calf all the way up to the traps and posterior delts and the triceps. Eishiatsu is highly effective at working the entire body at once, as we can see here, giving it a very wholesome feeling. And we see the support that she's using, mostly using the bamboo bars, but also the straps. She's not really holding herself up, but rather using them to balance, and then the rest of her weight is being distributed on the client. Diving into a nice deep stretch right there between the sacrum and the lower leg. Followed off with some heel work on the glute medius which honestly looks incredible because generally the glutes being one of the biggest muscles of the body, they're hard to get into those very deep layers of muscle. This is where something like a shiatsu and the heel can become really effective. And if you're still stuck around, congratulations. Here is one of the coolest shots I think I've got with all the footage. Really showing the fluidity and the transition of how a good therapist can work the entire body. Going from the lower leg, twisting, working up to the triceps, hooking the arm up, redraping, and now she's on the upper body and forearm. Very professionally done, great fluidity and great control in traversing the entire length of the body while still giving good firm pressure during the massage. And she works the forearm a little bit before stepping up on the back again, working all around the rotator cuff and shoulder girdle, and sinking deep in between the scapulas there creating some nice space, getting rid of tension and adhesions, and relaxing the client. And from here, she's gonna work into stool work where she actually sits down and uses her feet on the back. 
and here seems like the spot that everybody has issues with. Everyone carries tension in their rhomboids, their traps, all between the shoulder blades. And so her sitting down allows her to really dig her heels in and work up and down the erector spinaeus group, the rhomboids. Here she's doing a cool move where she's tapping on her knees to create tapotement and rhythmic vibration in her heels. It's a cool transference of energy there. And allows her to work laterally to the triceps and work back. Even picking up the arm and putting it on the small of his back. Really digging into that space underneath the shoulder blade. The heel is a nice broad yet very deep tool to get pressure. And working the entire length of the scapula. And what you do on one side of the body, you have to do on the other. So rinse and repeat to make sure you get the other side of the body. Once again, using her heel to dig right under that shoulder blade. Get some of those rotator cuff attachments. And a majority of those big back muscles. As we near the end, the client is now face up or supine. They have a nice drape over their eyes to keep the light out. But she utilizes that drape to provide traction while stabilizing or anchoring with her heel. This is a great example of not only using their feet, but they also use their hands to get some good work in there too. And using her toes on those suboccipital muscles all the way up and down the back of the neck. I've had this done and it feels awesome. And last but not least, we see some pretty good pec work right underneath the clavicle or your collarbone at that pectoral attachment. When she gets to the right side, she'll also take the arm and do a little bit of range of motion and stretching for both of the pec muscles and the deltoids. And once the range of motion work has been finished, she'll go back into the posterior neck, working the back of the neck where we always hold that tension. And like any other style of massage, she'll back out and go lighter as she nears the end to provide more of a relaxation feel. And that's going to finish up our Ishiatsu massage techniques. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really awesome being able to film with another therapist, but also someone as experienced as her. And really getting some good footage of showing a massage that some people might be a little weirded out by. But at the same time, it's highly effective. And if you can ever try it, I would recommend it. But thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel for new content. I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day.